All right, here we go, folks. We've got a best of five between Mozzarella and Tempo. Obviously, I've got it. Uh, his name shortened up on the scoreboard. Mozzarella was a little, a little bit too long. Made his name look funky. So we just shortened it to Mozza. I'm excited to see this. Mozzarella has had a phenomenal start to Hootie Show matches. You know, I'm sure he's played uh, plenty of ones and, and maybe some matches on other streams as well. And here on my stream, Mozzarella is currently... Currently sitting at... 2-0. and oh. He won his first match uh, with a 3-1 scoreline. And then won his next match uh, 3-0. So, great start to Mozzarella. Tempo has played quite a bit on the stream. He's going to strike first here in game one. And... Tempo is actually exciting to watch as well because he is, uh, he has restarted his streak. He got up to 4-0, ended up falling in that fifth game, which would have been a record at the time. But he has currently bounced back from that loss and won the next three matches in a 3-0 sweep. We've got two guys that have been performing very well recently. I'm excited to see how this series unfolds. Fairly tame start to game one. Both players just kind of feel one another out, see what each other is going to bring to the table. Tempo avoiding the bump. Gets into position for shot from the sidewall. He has such incredible control over this Dominus. It's always interesting to see the kind of plays that Tempo puts together. And of course, the majority of it is the same as you would see with an Octane or Fennec. You get your, your standard bounce dribbles, you get your, you know, your standard air dribble stuff. But he does occasionally get a unique flick, a unique touch. Sometimes just surprise his opponent with the speed. Obviously, the car hitbox is a little bit longer than uh, the, hip, uh, the Octane Finnick hitbox. Mozzarella hoping for the bump. No contact made, though. Now Tempo looking to put that in reverse, drive it into the goal. Can't do so. Mozzarella will have a possession. Oh! It's a pretty unique flick. Back to the near post. Still not enough to get past Tempo. But he does pick up the possession once again and continue attacking. Can't, however, grab that corner boost. And now Tempo, after standing strong on defense, will walk in a fourth. We got just under two minutes to play. When do I leave for uh, London? Spaceman, I leave Monday uh, night, and I will arrive there Tuesday morning. So I leave actually pretty soon. Mozzarella up high. Tempo has stayed grounded. It looks like that was the correct choice as he positioned well to defend that mozzarella flip reset attempt. He's going to have to do some more defending here. Mozzarella with a nice setup. The air dribble bump is good. He's got his second. Uh, <laughs> Worlds is kind of up in the air for me, Spaceman. 
If Oxygen can pull it off and qualify, then I'll for sure be there. But I, I'm, I may still go even if Oxygen's not, uh, you know, not able to qualify for Worlds. It's definitely feasible. It's within driving distance. But I've, I've had, uh, had a, a few big expenses this year. So we'll just have to see. I'm not totally sure yet. Tempo. Just going to grab that final touch. Tap that home for a fifth. He's established a three-goal lead. 50 seconds left. If he can play defense to the level that he has been, then he'll probably be okay for game one. However, Mozzarella not going to go quietly. That shot blocked away by Tempo. Another good attempt by Mozzarella. He's just continuing to throw shots at the target, but Tempo, even on low boost, just positions perfectly to make things difficult for Mozzarella. And while he does eventually concede, he ran a solid 20 to 30 seconds off the clock there. Made his job a lot easier for the remainder of game one. He's up by two. Just needs to hold for 21 seconds. Yeah, however, he's gonna have to back off here. Mozzarella wins the race to the midfield boost. Looks to go underneath Tempo and just can't get that 50-50 force through. And that should do it. Tempo secures that corner boost as well. Game number one goes to Tempo. And listen, since he lost a series, he has not lost another game since. The man is on a tear. You know, funny enough, Puff, you got game number two underway. Uh, in between, I was just talking about how Tempo is on a run now. And Puff says to tell Razier's, and he'll come in and destroy the streak just like he did with Edgeby. Uh, the funny thing is, Tempo actually requested to play Razier's. So maybe if he gets another win, he'll be on that 4-0 streak again. Maybe Razier's will be tempted to play. Try to destroy another streak. Which is definitely, and y'all know I've talked about this on regular streams. It's actually the thing that I'm most excited about with this database. It just allows some fun storylines to grow. It, it makes these, I don't want to say that it makes the show matches mean more. Because I don't want that to, you know, I don't, want, I don't want it to sound crazy. But it just adds an extra layer of fun. You know, there, there's, um... Or maybe like, uh, you know, an extra layer of continuity where and normally the show match is just that one match and that's it. You win that, you lose that, you go on about your time. But now we can kind of keep up with streaks. We can keep up with individual matchups. You know, this player has beaten this player two or three times. And this player's on a hot streak recently. This provides some extra context for things, which is always fun. I think the players, you know, which is apparent by the fact that I tweeted out Edge beat on a 5-0 streak. And I had multiple, multiple players reach out and they say, hey, I, I want to play him. I want to try to end that streak. So I think even from a player perspective, it, it, you know, it adds extra layer of fun as well. Speaking of fun, Mozzarella up to the ceiling, holds that dodge till the final moment. As soon as he sees Tempo in the air, he knows he's got him toast. Finds a top shelf. Tempo responds with a kickoff goal. Should have another possession here. Mozzarella pokes that to the sidewall, heads back for the corner boost. Makes a critical touch there as Tempo lofts it high above the net. Eventually, he does break down Mozzarella's defense. Taps in a second, ties things up. Tempo seems like a really good player recently. Absolutely. I think he is somebody that is um, you know, very hungry, very driven, determined. You know, he wants to improve. He wants to be the best player that he can. I know 
Uh, not, not that these show matches mean a whole lot, but I know he has always been hungry for more matches. He wants a, you know, a bigger challenge. He wants to face better competition every chance that he can. And he's just a player that is, you know, I think is, um, well, like I said, determined, determined to improve and, and willing to, willing to grind to try to achieve what he wants to achieve. And I got a lot of respect for that. I actually just recently saw Jack upload a YouTube video. Mozzarella, the disruption, just harassing Tempo in the middle of the field. Still can't work it past him, actually. I saw a YouTube video that Jack uploaded where he was playing Tempo in some ones matches. And he had, uh, you know, he had plenty of praise for Tempo. One thing that Jack talked about, and we've mentioned it here, Tempo's he's a unique player. You know, that Dominus hitbox provides something a little bit different, a little bit just kind of non-standard, I think, is maybe the easiest way to say it. Allows him to do things that some of the other players that use your more standard Fennec Octane cars, uh, you know, they can't really do those things. I'm excited to see Tempo's future. I think it, I think it is bright. While we're talking about him, he grabs a third. At 97 seconds to play. He's clawed back the lead in game two. He's got a flick on target to follow on the next kickoff. And a fourth goal. Tempo's young. Tempo's young. I'll check in a second, but I think he's either 16 or 17. He's a, he's a young one. Tempo could be in RLCS next season. Tempo was actually in RLCS the majority of this season. I think he missed one or two events. He played for Wild, uh, W-Y-L-E-E. -E. And his team uh, was in almost all the events. Like I said, I think he missed one or maybe two. In fact, him and Rai uh, qualified for the final two events of the season with their sub. Their third, Emil Vald, who is also an upcoming player that I think we need to... You no, know, I would advise everyone to keep their eyes out. Emil Vald is, is definitely a high-level guy. A lot of potential. Uh, but Emil Vald got... You know, he had a he had a, an injury, and he was unable to play. So the wild duo of Tempo and Rye played with Uncle Bill. Billy Vibin, their coach. Uh, their coach and sub. Which I think says a lot. Mozzarella, uh, out of control challenge there. Just way too, way too urgent, way too desperate to make something happen. He did not need to rush that play. And that mistake cost him. He's got time though, 40 seconds. Nice setup, flip reset to the far side is good. Clutch play from Mozzarella. He'll equalize. And we got 37 seconds left. Tempo grabs possession. He's going to stay grounded here. Doesn't want to go up high. Wants to keep the risk low. Mozzarella full boost, but he waited too long. Tempo, awkward bounce. He just can't get around that and get it on target. You see the zap dash there. He was hoping for maybe a quick recovery and... Potentially, the ability to catch Mozzarella off guard couldn't do so. But he's done well on defense. Hold on, may have a scoop on the flick. But again, just can't get it on target. May have one final chance. Reset. Another musty flick towards the target, and Mozzarella has it covered up. Fake kickoff from Mozzarella. Earns him... The first possession of overtime. A very awkward challenge for Mozzarella. Almost goes directly on target. Tempo just continues to pressure the play. Does not turn his back. Will not relent. And Mozzarella concedes early in overtime. Tempo up 2-0 in the series. 
Game three. Can Mozzarella stop Tempo, or will we see more of the same? Flip reset musty attempt by Mozzarella blocked away. Tempo. Oh my gosh. I don't I don't think I've ever seen anything like that. He laid the Dominus on the ground. For that flip reset, that was a very unique play. And this is just a full field, full field air dribble. Knocks that bar down and in. Mozzarella looking for the air dribble bump, but Tempo. With an incredible evasion. He's collected the midfield boost, dropped back. All the way to his corner. We can see that Mozzarella's on low boost, so he backs up. Tempo up to the backboard. Pancake has the reset. He's going to choose to use it for recovery. In fact, poor decision from Tempo. We don't see that too often. He decides to dip into his opponent's corner. While Mozzarella is shooting on an open net. Tempo always does a good job of protecting his corner boosts. Good evasion from Mozzarella as well. This time Mozzarella does get a demo. Depending on the spawn, Tempo may get back in time. He does not, so Mozzarella takes a one goal lead. We've got 303 to play. Fake kickoff from Mozzarella. Earns in possession. Tempo just, again, refuses to back off. He's got another flip reset this time. Again, choosing to use that dodge as a recovery. He's done well to disrupt Mozzarella on the shot attempt. Now Mozzarella hustles back to his defensive side, collects the boost, and he's got possession. But again, Tempo just refuses to give any space to Mozzarella. And finally, Mozzarella will find an opening. And this is exactly what he's going to have to do. He's going to have to deal with that high pressure. He's going to have to deal with Tempo being in his face. That's not good. I could tell when he took off. He was not not making contact there. Tempo. Awkward read on the corner bounce. Oh my gosh, look at that thing launch so high. Provides Mozzarella with a fourth. Tempo has dug himself a bit of a hole here. Goes to the near side, top shelf. Tries to send it around Mozzarella on the follow-up shot. Probably not going to make it back in time. Mozzarella with a fifth goal. A minute 50 to play. There's definitely time for Tempo. But he's going to have to execute every play to perfection. Both offense and defense. Mozzarella has certainly neutralized the advantage on kickoff. Looking for a bump. No contact. Now Tempo has possession. Early flick.
He's done well to keep that in a safe spot. But ultimately, that's not going to win the game. He's got to get this ball away from Mozzarella as quickly as possible and begin generating some quality chances. That demo may open up some space. Get caught in between decisions there. Couldn't decide between a flick and an air dribble. Ultimately resulted in conceding possession. They have an opportunity here. He tries for the long shot. It's off target, and Tempo hits the post again. It's just struggling here in game three. Mozzarella will get a sixth. No sweep today for Tempo. He will get one more before the conclusion. Game three, but this is definitely going to go the way of Mozzarella. Okay. Right? Surely it's going to go to Mozzarella? Okay, much better kickoff there. That will do it. Game three in the books. Hold on. Oh, triple reset. He does ping it off the crossbar. Red hot. Game number four. Mozzarella. The most recent victory. And he's off to a great start straight away from kickoff. Good control with low boost. And a fantastic flick to the top shelf, bar down and in. going to get all this boost. And instead of trying for net, he just tries to bait Mozzarella into a poor position. Ooh. Mozzarella definitely gaining confidence relative to what we saw in the first couple games. It's a very creative flick from Tempo. off the post and this is that right there is why ones is so frustrating you do a bunch of good work and then you've got a small window to score and you tap it off the post and it's in your net it's the worst Long shot from Tempo off the post. He's got the read, so he puts in the rebound. And he's got a lead. Shot on an open net. Mozzarella will equalize. Took in some, took in some time to settle in and get a read on tempo. Mozzarella has certainly improved on both ends of the field. He goes back to the air dribble bump attempt. Not going to make, not going to make it work that time either. Tempo. Musty flick from the right side. No good. Oh, 
Mozzarella patiently waits for the post bounce, has the read, and knocks in a third. Another strong defensive stand from Mozzarella, and he's got a fourth. He's got a great read on what Tempo is attempting in attack. He's cleaned up the kickoff game as well. He should be getting a fifth. Mozzarella looking to push this to game five. Tempo with a nice grab, corner boost grab. Oh, mozzarella, that's actually very well done. Looked like he was maybe making a mistake, but that was fully intentional. He takes that inside the net and pinches it off his uh, post for the clear. But an immediate response from Tempo, air dribble from the left side, reset. The right side of the net is good. There's that unique Dominus flick we've talked about. Tempo maybe hoping for a bump. No contact. The mozzarella holds on a two-goal lead. He looks to go near post after a fake or two. He makes it work. 6-3 for Mozzarella. Wow. Well done. Mozzarella just reading the game to perfection. Falls off the ceiling, has the dodge indefinitely, and when he sees Tempo step forward, of course, knocks it past him. 142 to play. Tempo still down by four. Oh, that is beautiful. Mozzarella with a slow play, jumps high, baits one play, and then flicks it to the left side. That's very nice. Tempo off the ceiling. And that's going to do it for that game. Let me just run the clock down. I think the uh, scoreboard needs that. 2-2. Two -two. We go to game five. Tempo has won his last three matches. Mozzarella has won the only two matches that he's played on the stream. One of these guys... He's going to fall. And while Tempo got off to an ideal start, Mozzarella has bounced back. That is an insane save. Wow. Oh, Mozzarella missed the boost. He's going to have to loft a shot towards the target. Tempo will collect. He's got the full tank in the corner as well. But Mozzarella sticks around. 
and has taken a note out of Tempo's book. No need for boost. Just continue to pressure the play. That is a great shot in the corner. We're tied up at one. Mozzarella for the last three games has really turned around his performance on kickoffs. However, Tempo did actually win the race to that midfield boost and put together a nice air dribble with a flip reset on the end of it to force that one home. Delay kickoff for Mozzarella. His flip reset over the top is good. Both players leveling up in this final game. That's a great... Great attempt by Mozzarella. He did he did eventually get a bump on Tempo, but couldn't make it back in time for the save. And we're only a minute and 10 seconds into this game. Tempo reset. Uses that dodge actually to hop back to the ground quicker. It's not going to matter, though. The ball... Sails out to the midfield directly to Mozzarella. And that's an awkward, that is an awkward angle to shoot from. Ball lofting up over you from behind. Mozzarella jumps off the sidewall, has a perfectly timed dodge. Puts that on target for a third. Impo rips a shot towards the target. He's threatening a demo. Mozzarella does what he can to escape. I mean, that is just... Tempo, you know, we, we flash back to what we talked about with Jack, the uh, 1v1 video. One of the things that he mentioned was how difficult Tempo is to uh, make contact with on the air dribble bump. And a big part of that is the Dominus. That thin hitbox profile just makes the bump attempt that much more difficult. Mozzarella now, full tank of boost. Looks to go underneath. Tempo has the initial attempt blocked. But Mozzarella sticks with it and forces it through. He's got a fourth. Mozzarella. Kickoff win. We're at the halfway point, and he's up by two. Another fake kickoff. I'm loving this from Mozzarella. He's using it to mix things up. Oh my goodness. Tempo flip reset. Great first touch. Second touch is phenomenal as well. And he uses that long hitbox to dodge towards the ball and dunk it home. He's back within one. Big flick from Tempo. Buys himself some space to dip into that corner boost. Mozzarella on zero. He's going to have to be careful. Tempo rips a shot. Easily blocked away. Uh, that is not the ideal touch. Mozzarella is going to score that one every time. 
Tempo. A little bit careless. Maybe that's another uh, another feature with the Dominus hitbox. Lean back reset. Looks for the ground pinch to the far side. No good. Mozzarella, not the greatest dodge. Going to cost him all the boost to get back to this ball. But it doesn't matter. As he provides enough power on the shot to force it past Tempo. And now he's got a three-goal lead. Only a minute 15 to play. He'll have the next possession as well. That's not a bad idea, but Tempo played intelligent defense. He was prepared for the fake. You see that backflip allowed him to make contact on the ball. So we got 63 seconds to play. Tempo back within two. He should win the race to this midfield boost as well. Shot on target. Mozzarella in a tough position. That is just, that's tough, man. Tempo really wanted to stick on this ball and play it immediately, but was too awkward. Couldn't decide what to do. And Mozzarella just says, hey, you know what? I'll go. I'll dive. Now he's got a three goal lead. He's going to have possession as well. No boost in the tank. So he turns his back, but he's done well to run a couple of precious seconds off the clock. Tempo does have the ball carry. The flick is high, too high. He goes near post, but Mozzarella's there. Good first touch. Again, Mozzarella positioned well on defense, and now he's got some time, space, and momentum for the clear. Booms it to the other side, makes an extra touch, and again, has just wasted all of the time that Tempo needed to make something happen. Hold on. That's an insane flick, or an insane touch, maybe. Flip reset on the end of the air dribble. Tempo does put one across. Seven seconds. And there it is, Mozzarella. A reverse sweep, a huge performance. To get his third straight victory on the strength.